we are going to start with Airtable and create a simple base from the scratch. Let's call it B1. Inside, let's have some mock-up data. Let's say we are uh, reselling uh, software of uh, other companies to small businesses and we want to have description of that software, number of licenses that we would like to uh, sell and the price for a particular uh, license that we will be selling. We also need to add the last modified field for the end. This will be crucial to make sure that um, integration will be successful. All right, now let's fill out the table with some example data. We'll also add uh, photos to make sure that uh, we can also sync those. Now let's create a copy of the base that we will have to keep updated. We'll call it B2. All right, I just duplicated the base and let's change a color to it. In this table, let's change the price to cost and this will be the field that we will not update because this is, let's say, our internal cost. Let's move over to Integromat right now. And inside of Integromat, let's click Create New Scenario. I have already previously created integration with Airtable, so we don't need to do it in this video. Let's add a new starting sequence with Airtable that would be Watched Records. Now let's select the base and select the table. There is only one table at the moment. What is crucial is to select what will be the trigger field. In this case, it will be the last modified field. We can also give it any name that we want to have. Once this is done, we click OK and then we add the second element. Also our table, this time we cannot go straight away to update the record. We need to have search record first. In this case, we will be searching B2 database and we would be looking within our table for a specific formula. Within B2 database, we want to return the rows that have the same name as name from B1. Now we need to add the final element, which will be update the base. Within that, we also select the base that we want to update, which will be B2. And right now, we need to be able to update a record on B2 using the searched record ID from step number two. Once we have that, once we are able to identify the correct record, we can update fields with proper records from B1. Once this is complete, we can do the first run of our database. Let's modify it to B1 so there is any last changes happening. And then we can test out our script. It's running. You can see two rows updated. And then we can move back to the B2. And then we will see that the number of users changed to one and one in both cases. We can also update logo and have that reflected in the B2. Let's try this. And in B2, we have updated logo of coming from B1. That's it. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.